path difference is simply the difference in distance covered by two waves. It's like both people leaving to get to the finish line and one person has travelled uh, 15, uh, 15 kilometres, another person has travelled 20 kilometres. The path difference, the difference in the distance covered there is 5 kilometres. So, how can we apply this to waves? If we have two waves leaving to a same point, and their wavelength is equal to, let's say, their radio waves, they're equal to a, a wavelength of 2 metres, doesn't matter what direction they're in, the main thing is the distance that they've covered. So we have here, a, uh, this radio wave has travelled 10 metres. We have another radio wave here, I'm just drawing ray diagrams here, which has travelled 8 metres. Now, the, different, the path difference is a total of 2 metres, which is equivalent to one wavelength. Okay? Now this is significant because both these waves will arrive in phase. And there's another video on this channel about being in phase or anti-phase and what that means. So these waves are arriving in phase with a path difference equal to one wavelength, so they will interfere constructively. So what does this mean in terms of the sorts of exam questions we're going to get? Now, we have here a microwave emitter and uh, it's going to have a wavelength, the waves will have a wavelength of 4 centimetres. Now, when the microwaves are sent out, they travel different paths. Okay, so these microwaves have travelled 24 centimetres, and uh, let's have another 24 centimetres. The microwaves on this side have been emitted, and they've travelled 20... Oh, let's change the colour, make sure it's readable. Uh, they've travelled 20 centimetres, followed by another couple of differences. Let's have 22 centimetres and 16 centimetres, all to get to the same point. Now, the sort of exam question you would get would ask you to explain why you're detecting a certain type of signal here. Now, if you're detecting a lull in the signal or a, a low point in the signal, if you've got a microwave receiver here and you're not picking up much of a signal, uh, that could be because the waves are arriving anti-phase and interfering destructively. If they're both arriving in phase, they've travelled, uh, if their path difference is equal to a multiple of their wavelength, then they will arrive in phase and interfere constructively. So what you've got to do is just total up the distance the two waves have travelled. So here we've gone 24 and 24, that gives us, this wave has travelled 48 centimetres. This is equivalent, of, that's uh, 12 times the wavelength, okay? Now, this wave here has travelled 20, plus 22 is 42, plus another 10 is 52. This has travelled 58 centimetres. Now this is important because this is equal to it's 14 and a half wavelengths, okay? Now these are significant because they are half a wavelength out of phase. And as we know, if something has travelled half a wavelength or 180 degrees, another way of describing waves in terms of their, um, uh, in terms of degrees, if it's travelled pi radians uh, wave uh, distance, or it's travelled the period of the wave over two, any of those, if the wave has travelled that difference, then it is antiphase. So you will detect a uh, minima at this point. So you'll get a lull in the signal, it'll be a lot quieter because the waves are arriving antiphase because they're half a wavelength out. That's path difference.